welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be showing you a simple peplum blast v-neck with no zip stay tuned and I'll show you the fabric and what we need okay guys this is the fabric we'll be needing this lovely kind of a suit fabric is good for the cold weather. Our measurement tape, scissors, measurement, chalk, hip curve. We might not really be using the hip curve ruler, but we are going to be using this curve, this ruler. Okay guys, stay tuned and I'll show you how I cut it. Okay guys, let's cut the blouse. To cut the blouse, because it's a peplum, I have taken the half length out. The half length is 19. The length of the blouse is 27. And I have divided up like 27 minus 19 plus 1 inches. That's 20. So the fabric is in two. Remember there's no zip, so I'm not putting a zip allowance. It's just going to have a little button at the back of it. So that's for the front, that's for the back. And I have folded it into two. As you can see, I folded it into two. And I've done the same with the back one as well. So I'm going to measure 20. This is already 20 just a little bit more but it's already 20 okay so i'm going to start by taking the shoulders the shoulder of the person divided by two shoulder is 17 divided by two that's 8.5 so i'm going to be marking 8.5 I'm going to be marking 8.5 down here. Remember there's no zip allowance. And the ham hole of the piercing divided by 2. 9. So I mark 9. There. or you could just measure the length from the shoulder to where the bust and the ham hole start from but if you use the ham hole divided by two you could use that but normally what I do is I measure the person from the shoulder to where the arm hole the armpit starts from so I mark nine Then I take the ruler and draw a straight line from the shoulder, half of the shoulder to the arm hole length. So that's going to be the chest of the person. So I just draw a straight line across again. Okay. So now I'm going to be taking the wideness of the neck. I'm going to be using okay it's a v-neck the back is not a v the back is a round normal round high neck but the front is a v and the drop for the v is eight okay remember our shoulder is not um, straight it's slanted so I'm going to be coming down by one inches at the shoulder point here. And then I'll take the ruler and draw it to meet the wideness of the neck. So that is how it's looking at the moment. So from here I'm going to be marking down the shoulder to the underbust. That's from the top of the shoulder here. 
for the underboss is 17. Just press straight line. The shoulder. Straight line. The shoulder. So the bust point is 13. So now I'm going to be taking the persons and then of course before I take the across measurement down, the shoulder to the waist is 19. So now I'm going to be dividing the person's bust into four. And then you mark it down. And then I'm going to be adding two inches sewing allowance. And then I'm also going to be taking the persons on the bust. I'm going to be taking, marking down your underbust measurement as well, divided by four. So on the underbust measurement, you measure down, you mark down the underbust measurement. plus one and a half inches and then at the waist point then the waist divided by four you mark it down as well at the waist point we are going to be having three inches because we are putting that plus three inches one inches is for the dart and then one and a half inches to sew it at the sides so now we are going to be come back to the ham hole at the moment now the ham hole is eight because we've taken one inches we've bring one inches down so it's eight Eight divided by two is four to get the middle of the arm hole length. To get the middle, we mark four. So from that point, you take your curve ruler and then you draw. You just take the ruler and just make a curve. There's another type of ruler I also have, which I also use for the hand pull. I'll quickly show it to you. I also use this ruler. I also use this ruler as well for the hand pull. You can also use it for the neck. It's a curve ruler, it's quite good. If you want to know where I got this ruler from, leave a comment in the comment um, section. And then you just connect it properly. And then we are going to connect all the mine all the, all the marks we are going to connect them together with a ruler and 
Now remember our body is not pointing so I'm going to use the hip curve ruler to get a proper curve.
So now I cut, I cut the V neck, the front one. And then the bottom, I'm just going to make it, cut the bottom straight just to make it uh, equal. just to make it fabric as well. Then you fold it into two. Okay guys, that's it. I've cut the front and the back. That's how the front is looking. It's a simple v-neck just like I said before. That's the front. back it's just going to be having an opening here it's going to have the opening up to somewhere there and then I'm going to be putting a loop and a button so I'm going to cut the facing so to cut the facing you just need another of this fabric as well Then you fold it into two. You take the back. Whichever one you want to cut first, I think I'm going to cut the front one first because it's a V. I need more fabric for that. So I take the front one, fold it back into two. And then place it on the fabric I'm going to be using for the facing. Then I mark how, how much um, fabric I want to leave inside. The down one is up to you. You can decide to add like three inches or four inches after where the V stop. Actually, I've added um, three and a half 
inches so all I will do is I will just trace it or I can just cut it out with the scissors so I will just trace it trace the v-neck and the shoulder you don't need the whole of the shoulder so I'm going to use um, three inches so I mark three inches here so that's how wide the facing is going to be how much um, fabric I want to leave inside the that one is up to you you can decide to have like three inches or four inches after we had a v-stop actually i've had it um three and a half inches so all i will do is i will just trace it or i can just cut it out with the scissors so i'll just trace it trace the v-neck and the shoulder you don't need the whole of the shoulder so i'm going to use um, three inches so I mark three inches here so that's how wide the facing is going to be and I'm going to be using three inches as well the wideness of the of the facing so now I can remove the front Then I just mark three inches. Okay, now I cut it out. as well the wideness of the of the facing so now I can remove the front and then I just mark three inches So I'm going to be ironing a stay. All you need to do is to cut the stay exactly like this. That's fusible. In and I'm going to cut the opening out, which is the V. I'm going to cut it out. I'm 
my iron to iron it. So if you have your iron close by, you press iron it. And also I'm going to be ironing a stay. All you need to do is to cut the stay exactly like this. That's fusible interfacing. So it needs to be like this. Once you finish cutting it out, it looks like this. Okay, so that is going to go to the front. Sitting. It's going to be sitting on the front one. It's going to be right side to right side. Right side to right side like this. You sew it and then you turn it to the inside. So that's the front one. You do the same. just like what we did at first okay so this time around because the other facing is not going to help us we are cutting a new facing so what you are going to do you know where you have cut the opening toe you are going to come down by one and a half inches or two inches from that point we are going to mark two inches down from the point we've cut open, two inches down. It's still going to be the same three inches wideness. I cut it open. Three inches and then you just our back facing. Can you see it now? So this is how the back facing should look like. What you need to do is to take the back, take the back right side to right side, replace it together, pin it like so, pin it and sew it when you get here, you turn the fabric, you leave the middle and turn the fabric and go all the way there and continue to the end. And then when you finish, you notch it and you turn it to the other side. And that's the end of the back and front and the facing. So now I'm going to show you how to cut the peplum. The peplum what I do is, I fold the fabric into four. I fold the fabric into four to cut the peplum. The peplum length is nine and a half. So all I do is I fold it into four. That's one, two, three, four. I fold it into four. Remember there's no zip, so this is practically a circle. I'm going to cut a circle, a full circle. So you divide the waist 
of the person by four plus sewing allowance for the length. So all together I'm going to make the length ten. If we can get ten. If the fabric allows to get ten. So waist of the person divided by four. Mark it down. Don't forget you're cutting a circle. So from this point here, from this sharp point here, my finger is, you mark the waist of the person. And then from the this circle shape, you mark the length of the peplum. So I'm going to mark the length of the peplum now. Okay, we got 10. So you mark 10 all the way around because it's a circle, remember. enough for the person's waist. So I'm going to check if this is wide enough for the waist. If not, I measure one and she's done. Okay, this is more than wide enough for the waist, so I don't need to cut it down. So this is fine for the waist. So that's the peplum. Okay, so I'm quickly going to show you the sleeve. It's a simple straight sleeve. sleeve I've already fold the fabric into two because it's two sleeve. I fold the fabric into two. The length of the sleeve is 16. 16 plus one and a half inches. Half an inch to hem it. Um, half an inch to sew it, one inch to hem it. So what I'll do first is I'll mark, I'm going to mark um, one inches as a guideline up here to cut the sleeve. The one inches is just a guide. Take the length of the sleeve plus one and a half inches so in allowance. That's 17 and a half. my sleeve is a quick method I use to cut my sleeve. All I do is that according to the person's bust measurement, in this case, you divide the bust. You divide the bust into um, 12. So before you work out because the sleeve I don't want to go into details of working it out. So what I do is I just mark from this point of this of the one inches guide from this point. I just mark that three and a half inches. So three and a half inches from this point, and then the person's ham, which is their bicep, is nineteen. So from there. 19 plus 1 inches sewing allowance and mark it down there. They are elbow. The elbow is um, 14. So I mark 14 divided into 2 plus 1 inches sewing allowance. And then the person 
lower elbow I call it, which is just the three quarter sleeve point, is 13 divided by two, six and a half, plus one inches, so in another one, seven and a half. So, what I do is I freehand, I freehand it from this point here, I connect it to this point here. get to the end here I do like draw like I said we say a S shape or a C a semi C shape here free high free hand it to here so from this point from this point I take the hip curve ruler I connect it to this point here so I take the hip curve ruler Connect it down there. That's all I do, guys. I will definitely make a proper pattern sleeve for you guys, but this is just a quick method of doing it instead of doing the shape. And then I just I mark all the measurements of the lower elbow which is somewhere around here the elbow is here the arm which is the biceps round round sleeve some people call it is here so these are all the measurements of this place and then you have one inches or one and a half inches sewing allowance whichever amount you want before you cut it out just cross check to make sure it's okay just cross check to make sure it's okay if it's not wide enough, there's still more allowance of fabric here. All you need to do is just take your chalk, take your hip curve ruler and add one inches allowance, seam allowance to it. See now we've got 